Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a leader LCT910 CRT tester rejuvenator. <laughs> Ain't that a fascinating name? So this thing is from about 1969. Something like that. I'm a little bit unsure about its uh, dating because I don't find any information in the setup or in the quick guide here in the in the top. Let's try and show you guys. Oh, here we go. So this is the quick startup where it says how you do this. So the whole idea with this tester or regenerator is that it will heat up the filament and you can test some leakage current and you can of course set G1 that is the first control grid and then you can by moving uh, the control grid and then testing the current to the other grids that's uh, further away then you can test the cutoff cut off point and then you can of course test emission it's more or less the same uh, with a color tube but here you got some switches where you switch between red green and blue colors for the different uh, guns you have three individual guns and obviously you need to uh, enable uh, the controlled grid for each of these uh, guns to test the emission is uh, correct right so this setup chart here is where you look up all the different CRTs and then you find the correct socket number voltages for grid one and then the heater voltage and that is uh, actually all you need for the first basic setup of this uh, unit. This is filament adjustment. This is uh, just a 10 ohm high power resistor. And this, this is in more or less in series with the transformer. That will be different tappings of the transformer windings so where you set the different heater voltages so if yours uh, is a 6 volt tube 6 volt heater here you go and then you just crank this up until you have emission and all that kind of stuff here you can measure the different voltages and what's going on here here you just adjust the heater and here you check out heater to cathode leakage here you should of course see nothing and then you should not see any grid leakage and then you can measure the grid one voltage and here you poke around with the voltage and here you go for the different colors if I'm not mistaken right and then you when you are in color mode then you enable the different colors and then you control I think this is the second or third grid that is used to control the the gun current so remove shorts that is of course a high current mode to blow away heater and uh, cathode shorts because those two are very very close and in some television sets that's a problem if they are connected together then you don't have any picture anymore so then you can blow away that short i don't think it's going to blow away any other shorts because the other grids they're a little bit further away so rejuvenate the whole idea here is you set up for this mode and then you push this mode shortly and then you see the currents 
did they change or not, right? And then you give it a few more. It's actually only 5 to 10, 20 seconds. It's not that much more that you need to see that the current is coming up. And that is because you overheat and you overcurrent and then you actually blow away all the old old uh, nasty things on your cathode and your grids and it's really regenerating old um, tubes like that i already released a video about normal radio tubes and how you can regenerate them i will put a link in the description um so you can read about the whole practical idea about that right so i think this unit is more or less complete look at that we got one two three and four adapter sockets so the idea is you take this cable here and plug into one of your adapter sockets so if one of these are will be the type that you need for your type of television set then you just uh, stick in one of them and then don't use the other one obviously right and yeah i think i i support more or less all the different crt types I think this one is more or less homebrew, right? And this one reads September 1969. And it supports some really weird CRT connections. And you'll see all the other grids, they are connected together. See, oh, I think it's easier to see with the, yeah, with the yellow wire here. So that is, uh, grid two and three and brightness and all that focusing and whatnot so all those grids they are connected together and the whole idea is your beam will have a place to go so that actually acts as a local anode because this unit is not connected to your crt's anode this is only connected on the back let me show you here a little user guide I'm so sorry this is uh, written in Danish, but this shows you a little bit about how to use this. You'll see the tester got a cable and it's only connected on the back connector of the CRT, not the anode. So that is what I wanted to show you. And then it says how to do the regeneration is what it's called here or then you can do high you're of course not supposed to do that uh, if you already have a result in the lower modes there's no reason to blow up anything if this is not needed huh. it says here it's a for color television sets regeneration and you can do black and white or color and all that kind of stuff I think I will scan all the, this material and I will put it in the back of the video so you'll be able to get everything in a nice good quality. I also got the entire manual. I think I should just also yeah, scan everything here. This is the original English manual. So instead of just uh, going through it here and uh, repeating everything, yeah, again let's uh, let's uh, scan this and then you will have uh, a good opportunity to uh, to look at the end of the video i should probably also just scan the whole thing here right the setup chart and uh, all that kind of stuff but what i really want to do is i want to look inside and see how how it really looks because this is insanely simple you're gonna laugh when you see this i mean there is nothing inside the box at least that is definitely what i think we're going to see here i think there will be a transformer and a few potentiometers and a few diodes and a few capacitors and that is more or less all there is to it so how are we going okay here we go here we are going to open it 
the whole case is just like a little sexy suitcase. I totally love it. And it is in a very good state. I mean, of its age. Let's look a little bit inside this fantastic unit. So that will be the main transformer. And this is very close to what I said earlier. This is what I more or less expected. A mains transformer, the little, this is the regenerate switch that high powers and high current, everything. And that is of course the 12th position mode selector. That will be the RGB uh, selector. That is the filament voltage selector that will be on uh, different tappings on the transformer. And that will be the series resistor where you set the filament current. And that's it. We just got a few diodes generating the, the positive and the negative voltages for, for grids and all that kind of stuff. And uh, a little bit of trimmers here to ha handle the readout adjustments so that they display more or less the correct things. And the rest is just set up voltages and uh, at low currents and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we got a an, a neon indicator here and this is over current. And that is made, um, this uh, is of course in, in a parallel with a resistor and all the um, the current goes through that resistor and when something is, is wrong, too much current will go in that um, resistor, the voltage drop will be high and then this lamp will be lit. And then you know, oh my God, I need to crank down um, uh, G1 voltage so it's not overdriving my tube or crank down the filaments and so on. So be careful. Uh, this is what you need to, uh, of course, monitor. So this was uh, more or less all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I will here put in all the different scans so you can enjoy them. And I will also upload a few pictures and a high resolution schematic to a radio museum. So this is where you should go if you uh, want to go and fetch some of my files. I don't have a CRT that is dead or defect. So I'm so sorry, I can't really show you this uh, unit in action, but I really recommend that you go and check out uh, my normal radio tube regeneration uh, video. And this shows a little bit about how regeneration works. And it also proves that it is actually working in real life as well. So and if it works on a little signal tube, obviously it's also going to work on a CRT. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this super, super fast walkthrough of this uh, CRT regenerator. Bye bye.